So this is important here, okay? At the end, we want to have this pen pattern has notches as well as the line that customer need. By the end of this video, you will know how to grade pants pattern in close 3D using the auto grading function. Easy step by step. I will share with you some tips and tricks to grade these pants pattern into multiple sizes from small, medium to large. Then we will bring these graded patterns to Adobe Illustrator and give them a finished look. We are here in Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to bring those three patterns that we graded earlier to Adobe Illustrator. To do that, I can either come over here and click on this open button right here or I can go to file and then select open, click on it. After that, I'm going to navigate to my folder that I saved the pattern earlier, which is desktop and pen grading. Then right here, pen size. And as you can see right here, we have size L, M, and S. I'm going to just marquee select all that three files and come down here, click on open. Okay, as you can see right here, this is the pen pattern that we brought into Adobe Illustrator and that is size small and here size medium and over here size large. So by default, we brought these pants pattern in with a red fill. So a goal here, let me go back to the guideline that we have earlier. We want to be no fill and we want to apply the stroke color accordingly, which is small size is green and then medium for red and blue for large, as well as focus on remove the lines that we don't need and keep the lines that we need. All right, so we're going to come back here to Adobe Illustrator. So since we exported with all the line lengths and annotation. However, for this right now, we want to hide all these numbers because it is confusing for the customer to see all those confusing numbers. So what we're gonna do here, come to this layer panel and I want to click on that twirling arrow right there to expand this sub layer. Then I'm gonna scroll down here, okay? Scroll down. So as you can see right here, each number is each layer in Adobe Illustrator. It is fascinating, okay? However, don't worry. We have the easy way to fix this problem. So I'm going to hover the mouse over this clip group right there. And I can click and then lock that layer. And I'm going to just slide down to lock all that layer just like that. These allow me to command or control plus letter A to select all the layer that I don't lock, okay? Then I'm going to press on command or control plus letter G to group that layer, okay? And this allow me to see if I click on this eyeball right here. Just one click, sorry. That was the wrong eyeballs. So I'm going to click on this eyeball right here to hide all those number and text. So for me to not make in that same mistake, I'm going to name these layer numbers, okay? Just like that. Then press return or enter on the keyboard to confirm. All right, now I'm going to just zoom out a little bit, command or control plus minus sign to see all the pattern pieces. Okay, let me zoom back in just a little bit. That is important here. Before this layer that we can operate on, all these pattern pieces, we have to come over here back to layer panel and unlock that back, okay? Once again, just hover the mouse over that area right there on the lock especially and slide it down and you unlock it. Now, we almost can operate this. However, we can do a couple of things here. So we are going to use certain tool here to operate or to fix certain thing, okay? 
So I'm going to come over here to this toolbar and let me show you if I use this selection tool right here, I can't do anything because all these right here are come in sub clip come in group, which we want to remove the line. If I click on that line, I click on the whole thing. So that doesn't work. I'm going to command or control plus letter Z to undo a couple of stuff that I messed up earlier. However, I have better tool to do that. So come over here to this. You see, hover the mouse over that is direct selection tool. We want to click on this arrow right here, this tiny arrow to see the tool behind that, which is group selection tool. Click on it to select. Okay, this is important. Okay. I'm going to click one on the page first to deselect from whatever I select on it earlier. Then I can just see right here, my key select just this edge right there. And you see this bounding box? We want to delete that bounding box. Okay. To do that, after I select it with this group selection tool, I'm going to press on the lead or backspace on the keyboard to delete. So now we are free to move any. Let me show you. I'm going to come back to this selection tool right here and click on this layer. Now I can just move just that one layer. Doesn't matter. I'm going to press down command or control plus letter Z to undo a couple here. Okay. Next, we want to remove the fill from this pattern so it is easier for us to see. To do that, I'm going to command or control plus letter A to select all these pattern pieces. Then I'm going to come over here to fill icon in this menu, click on it and select this no fill icon. Okay. Now we just remove all the fill from these pattern pieces. After that, I'm going to click one on the page to deselect. Okay. All right. So you probably asked me, Dang, Rose, how would we know what line to remove and what not? Let me zoom in first. Let me get zoom tool. All right. Let me zoom in and I will point out exactly what line we want to remove and what not. Okay. So as you can see closely here, okay, we grade the pattern into one side up or whatever the original side to small or to medium, you got an idea. And as you can see right here, the side that we grade into comes with notches, come with this perfect outline for the pattern. And the sizes that we graded from have this missing and not connected to the pattern outline. Those are the line that we want to delete, okay? If that makes sense. So as you can see right here, this is a notch and you can also see as well, this line that we don't need, we can just delete them all. And right here, this is important. This line right here does not touch to the pattern outline. That's the delete line. Okay. And the lines that, for example, this one touch, but, but we don't need two zipper line only for clothes because when I sew this pattern in clothes, I need certain line to sew to. But when we print this pattern out, we do not need this line, okay? As well as this line right here, that is obviously we have to delete it because it doesn't make any sense at all, that line's right there. All right, so now we need to figure out what tool to use to delete those lines. Of course, the tool that works for that line is the group selection tool right here, okay? Click on it or usually it hide behind the direct selection tool. If you click on that twirling arrow, you will get to that group selection tool right there. Okay. And I'm going to come in right here. Just start click on that line right there and press the delete key on the keyboard to delete. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to press on command or control and plus minus sign. Okay. And a couple of things right here too that I want to point out. And we will do it all with the three patterns, guys. So a little bit tedious, but we will have this amazing outcome at the end. That's what we want. All right, let me uh, zoom in a little more here. And as you can see right here, we know for sure the line that we're going to delete going to be. Let me go back to that tool. This line right here, that's what we don't want. And that line right there. 
it will look prettier, I promise. Right there. Or I can press on Shift and then click to select more than one lines. Like that, and then press the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete. Okay. So I'm going to speed up the process, which save you time. And another thing, just like I did earlier, when I mistake, click on the line that I don't want. While I'm holding down the shift key, I can just click on it to deselect, just like that. Then I'm going to press down the delete and backspace to delete the line I want. Then I'm going to repeat the step here. Okay, so right here, I want to rotate just a little bit to do that. I'm going to use that group selection tool to click on that grain line. Then come to this selection tool over here in this toolbar, click on it. Then just hover the mouse right here until you see the curve arrow pop up. Any corner right there is fine. And then click and then drag to get it somewhat appropriate right here. Okay, now a pattern look pretty good. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Um, okay, there you have a design star. I hope you find this video useful. And remember to sub and click on the bell for more awesome videos. Thank you.